Up until the present time, we have dozens and dozens of newspaper clippings. We also have a few interesting newsletters from the main roads. We've got this uh, little booklet um, about the history of range crossings, and it starts off with the very earliest range crossings. Originally there was one and it was called Gorman's Gap and then there was another one that was called the Old Toll Bar. That one started in 1850. That one was built and it joined up to the range crossing that we know of now and that was opened in 1940. In uh, mid-August in uh, 1970 the then Deputy Premier of Queensland said we will build the bypass we just haven't set a date. Now that was a bit of a prophecy if ever there was one. The Toowoomba Bypass will be a major part of a freight corridor that services not only the Darling Downs, all of Western Queensland, Central Western Queensland and a major part of New South Wales. It's the gateway to a lot of places. There will be a forum in Toowoomba on the 8th of February next year at which we intend to bring as many business leaders and government leaders as possible to that forum and I'm asking you to throw your full and complete support behind it to show the strength of this community and the clear need we have for the kind of infrastructure we've been missing out on for years. This is the beginning of a new journey, a renewed case, a new re renewed fight to make sure that we get the infrastructure we deserve. Two decades in the making, it's exactly what traffic weary drivers were desperate to hear. Today I'm announcing the commencement of a, of, of a registration of interest process in which we'll invite companies and consortia interested in constructing, building and operating uh, this road uh, to put their names forward. With the stroke of a pen, the largest inland rail project in Australia's history is locked in. The deal's done. <laughs> The state and federal government signing the contract with consortium Nexus. The community of uh, this region have entrusted it to our organisation to deliver and uh, that's a big responsibility that we take very seriously and uh, one we're determined to do a very good job on. It's great to see this coming to fruition. I, I think there are still one or two people left in Tawara who don't believe the range crossing is going to be built but today should be the end of that. And when you reflect on all of that, and when you look at when it happened, it probably happened in a good era because the way the project was done, the way that they went to the international community to get the very best ideas available in the world have given us an outstanding product, an outstanding way of bypassing Toowoomba and getting to Brisbane, to the Port of Brisbane for our exports and for a great area of convenience for the people of Toowoomba and beyond. Uh, it's a beautiful bit of infrastructure. It's something that we ought to be very proud of it's going to attract people to this place as well as just the very function of the bypass. There'll be people who want to come and see it, who want to drive it. This is the biggest inland road project ever attempted in Australia and we're proud that it's in our backyard and will make such a profound difference.